All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to identify a swing failure pattern and uh, a subsequent break of market structure and how to trade in the direction of that ultimate break. Now, right here, we have a swing failure pattern playing out on the uh, intermediate time frames. Uh, you can see that here because price runs down below these lows, uh, uh, violates these lows, and then very quickly closes back in the range and then runs for these highs. Right, you see this expansion of volatility and uh, run the lows, run the highs, and then ultimately that's your break of uh, intermediate time frame structure. Price comes down to these highs, uh, accumulates off them, ultimately mounts a rally higher. Now it helps if uh, this is happening in the context of a higher time frame trend. Um, it always adds confidence to our idea. So right here, uh, you know, we have this high time frame level here. People, you know, might identify this as an order block, but essentially what you have is the weekly trading range of uh, July 12th. Uh, that one gets violated. Ultimately, that's your swing low. When price comes down to the high of this weekly trading range, uh, you can expect that region to act as support. So <clears throat> if we go back down to the intermediate time frames, we see price comes down, hits that weekly level. And uh, then we see that uh, swing failure pattern uh, start to develop around that high time frame level. I really love to see this when this happens. It gives me a lot of confidence that uh, I'm looking at the market in the correct uh, frame of reference, essentially. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's go down to uh, one hour time frame and see what we got. Let's see. Might be able to see it a little bit more clearly. Okay. All right, so you get this uh, right volatility is drying up around this level, um, and then ultimately you see volatility pick up and lower lows, higher highs. Right, so this is not trending behavior. We're at a high time frame level. Right, lower lows, higher highs. There's your stop run right there, and price uh, doesn't spend spends very little time below there. Almost runs essentially straight aggressively back into the consolidation. Um, you know, if you were short here and you see this type of behavior, you can start managing risk uh, in this area. Uh, but ultimately, we get our confirmation above here. So price comes in, closes back in here, and then runs up, takes these highs out right here. So once we see that, we know, okay, Price is based off this high time frame level. It's ran stops on the low time frames at this level and then come up in broken market structure up here. This is your classic swing failure pattern. Um, so now, you know, if we're looking for more downside volatility in this environment, that, that's probably not going to work out for us. We can expect price to uh, maybe uh, base out at this region and, and mount to run higher. And, uh, you know, ultimately that's what we see. Right, so you can see how price did not break uh, daily market structure until this level. So we'll mark that off right there. Go down to daily, right? Um, yeah, so uh, it wasn't until this uh, February day of February 4th where price expanded aggressively higher, took out these highs that the daily structure broke. But we could see that the uh, market was if you know if we're tuned into the market, we can see that it was already starting to turn around at this high time frame level, um, and this is a great example of how the uh, the low time frames are extremely valid, um, but you know only in the context of how they interact with those high time frame levels. But anyway, if we were looking at this, we could identify that break in structure before guys who were just looking at the daily chart. And we could, you know, there's plenty of entries within here to accumulate within this region, uh, expecting this uh, this break here, uh, because once you get this break here, right, the, you get this uh, pretty pretty aggressive expansion of volatility, and at that point, it's it's pretty, you know, it's too late to uh, enter a position. Uh, price is running, and uh, you need to be in a position by that point to uh, to participate.